I'm wondering if you can relate to this. You want to get more views on your videos, don't we all? And in order to get more views on your videos, you need to promote your content. So you head over to Facebook, you join a bunch of Facebook groups so you can tell everybody about your YouTube channel. You spread your links and thumbnails across social media so you can tell everybody about your brand new video that you just released, but then... <laughs> nothing. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Courier. If you're new here, consider clicking that subscribe button, ringing the bell, and turning on notifications so you're alerted to future content. Have you been in this situation? Do you go out there and spend all that time promoting your content only to hear crickets. Yes, it can be frustrating. I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. That is the common experience of many small and new YouTubers that hit the scene. They expect to go out and tell the world about this exciting thing that they're working on and people will just rush to watch their content. But there's an important thing that I need to share with you in this video that's going to change your perspective on where you should be focusing your time and energy. So first up, and this is a hard pill to swallow, many YouTubers struggle with this, but the reality is it's not about you. You really need to understand that in order to have a successful channel, you need to be thinking about the viewer. If you can make content that the viewer wants to watch, then that is going to bring people to your channel. Now, to that end, it makes much more sense that if you are trying to create content for the viewer, then maybe it doesn't make sense to go out to social media and share all of your excitement for this thing that you're doing. Remember, it's about the viewer, it's not about you. So if you're out there going, hey, I'm doing this really excited thing, come check it out, not many people are gonna be interested. You may get a handful, but that's really not going to drive any type of growth on your channel. So if we know it's the viewer and not us, I mean, how do we know about the viewer? We don't know every viewer out there or what they're looking for, so how in the world are we supposed to make content for them? And then if we wanna make content for them, how do we let them know? Well, the exciting part of this is that you don't really need to know everything about the viewer because there is someone or something out there that already has a ton of information about the viewer. That something is YouTube itself. YouTube is a massive search engine, plus it has tons and tons of data about viewers and their habits. So YouTube is ultimately the one who's going to understand what viewers may be looking for the type of content that you're making. When you understand that difference, it's really easy to see that instead of focusing all your energy on going and promoting your content outside of YouTube, you should really focus all of your energy in YouTube, on YouTube, to understand how to make videos that more viewers on the platform want to watch. But how do you do that? Where are you supposed to get that information from? Well, the easiest way to explain that is you simply watch to see how viewers react. You put out a video, you get some feedback, you get some people who watch it. Are there people commenting? Are they liking the video? You can also look at your analytics and see how long they are hanging uh, out and watching the video. So what you really wanna do is become a student of YouTube and viewers, viewer behavior. What do they like? What don't they like in your content and other content? You can go out to YouTube and do a search and see what videos are popular. You can look at the main YouTube page. You can look at the suggested videos that are coming to you that have millions of views and try to understand why people are watching those videos. That can give you the information to then make a better video the next time. And that's really what you're trying to focus on now. Every video is not gonna be a banger. It's not gonna be the best video that you ever put out, but you are gonna get some feedback and that's gonna help you to slowly hone your craft and make videos that people are more interested in watching. Maybe you're getting two minutes of watch time on each video and you're doing the same thing, your same style or format or template where you're doing an intro, you're covering something and then you know, you're sharing a link or asking them to watch another video or you have a long drawn out uh, outro or something like that. You can see all that in the data that YouTube gives to you. So it's really gonna help you to understand exactly what works and what doesn't work. So if you take all that time and energy that you were putting out there on social media and posting your links in Facebook groups, asking people to check out your channel, 
uh, you're really going to get a much bigger return because you're focused where the action is. You're on YouTube. You're seeing all the data that YouTube is collecting for you. And then you're trying to understand that and interpret it in such a way that you can use it to improve the content that you're making so that people watch more videos. If you understand what the viewer is looking for and you do a better job at crafting a video, YouTube will definitely find your video to share with those viewers. But remember, YouTube is looking for content for the viewers that they know everything about. They are not out there searching for viewers to give you views on your channel. That's something that can take you a little while to wrap your brain around uh, because it does seem like uh, kind of a black box, kind of a mystery. But uh, if you become a student of your analytics, if you become a student of content in general on YouTube, then it will start to give you those clues. And over time, you'll be able to put them together to make a nice solid video that keeps people watching, brings people back, gets them to subscribe to your channel and helps you build a healthy YouTube channel. And hey, today's video is brought to you by tubetemplates.com, your source for affordable YouTube graphics starting at just $4.95. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.